Good morning, Europe. <laughs> That's a good night there. No, it's good afternoon. Anyway, sorry for the sillies. Mentioned seven elsewheres. My training in electronics was tube and transistor theory. Computer stuff came later. Now, the tube and transistor stuff, very high power had to do with radar systems. And to get to radar, you go through uh, radio frequencies and audio and everything else that you can think to and speak frequency spectrums. But one of the keys inside of that were charts on the frequency spectrums used out there. So it used to be very well defined. Well, not it, it was pretty well defined. Because of the technology, radio had a specific spectrum. Radar had a higher frequency sp spectrum. They're all part of the radio frequencies or the uh, electromagnetic spectrum. So, I have been confused about this in trying to equate harm to, uh, let's go with 5G or 6G or whatever the G is going to be in technology. The facts are, a microwave oven has a door on it, and it has a gasket. If those leak, you get exposed to enough energy, you can statistically speaking get exposed to enough energy to cause cataracts in your eyes to cause burns or other hazards if you do stick your hand in there you do increase the risk of cancer that's a simple fact of the microwave frequency in your microwave all microwaves run on a pretty specific frequency emit a pretty specific frequency. There's a number of reasons for that. Regulations are the main one, but it also has to do with the interaction of molecules in the food you're trying to cook because of this idea of interferometry, interference based on specific frequencies you get into woo very easily if you speak to these things because it is resonance, it is interferometry, it's interference, it is a microwave exciting a specific set of molecular thingies inside your food because the energies of the food interact with the energies from the microwave. This is a fact of microwave radiation. It high enough powers, it does, it will, it can cause cancer. People want this absolute safety answer. The fallacy of absolutes, the fallacy of absolute zero comes into play here. There is a risk to waking up in the morning, or a risk that you won't. And this is how pretty much life today is evaluated by risk, not by absolutes. So that's the challenge in the frequency conversation. This harm is true, period, end. The explanation of the harm is complicated. And somehow, not telling the truth, obscuring the possibilities, makes some people think we're being misled, and I don't blame them. On a side note, we ran out of IP addresses on the internet in 2002. We ran out of machine address codes back in the 90s. Mac codes, hard addresses in machines, had to be extended because we ran out. Interferometry. Thank you.